Hey, what is good? What is happening? Everybody over here on the Voclan channel. It's Mango here, otherwise known as the one and only Mango, of course. I am back here with a brand new video for you guys today. Today's video is pretty much going to be tips and tricks on how you can get your first vicious medal in Call of Duty World War II. Now, before we go in depth of all of that good stuff, I would really love to give credit to my good buddy Jeep. He did get this gameplay in the background. You guys are going to be watching an insane World War II gameplay. This is a vicious medal. This is an exclusive gameplay. He got it on the first week of the beta camp out which was very very cool of him to actually do so i would strongly suggest you guys going over and checking out his channel the link to his channel is down in the description down below of course as well as my link so if you guys would like to go check out either one of us be sure to go do so and this guy is just amazing so let's get back on track guys so for today's video as i stated i'm going to be showing you guys well not showing you guys because i don't have on face cam and of course i'm not doing a live come but i'm going to be talking to you guys give you guys these tips and tricks and things that i've learned over my experience on playing the World War II beta and how you guys can possibly get your first vicious medal in Call of Duty World War II. Now, Call of Duty World War II, as of now, isn't a easy multiplayer game. Now, this game does take skill mainly because it's boost on the ground, so you're not jumping everywhere and all of that good stuff. So the only thing you're able to pretty much do, toss nades, get these gunfights, try to win them, and hopefully you can win the gunfight and go on a streak. Now, what I'm going to be telling you guys in today's video is like it's very key because this is some stuff I've learned over my time period of playing the World War II beta. The beta was actually pretty fun the first week of the beta. Now they did, you know, insert some patch notes for the second week of the beta. I'll have some of that linked down in the description down below. For those of you guys that do like to, you know, read and go more in depth of what's in the game and all of this stuff like that. So that will be linked down in the description down below. I'll make sure my good buddy Dabs link that down in the description down below. Now, the first thing I want to tell you guys, guys. World War II is an intense game, especially in the multiplayer playlist. The maps aren't that big. Um, some of the maps are just very, very small, and everything takes, like, it, it all takes place right there, like, right then and there. So, the first thing you guys would like to do while playing World War II is get a weapon that you guys are comfortable with. You know, you want to get that weapon that you think is yours, the weapon that is going to make you play awesome or better than any other weapon on that game will. For me, it has to be the STG. I went on an 18-gun streak and a 17-gun streak with the STG, and it was a pretty, pretty cool experience, and it was actually pretty fun using that weapon because... Because that weapon fit it for me now I enjoyed the SDG now another thing you guys would like to do you guys want to run score streaks score streaks do count upon you getting that vicious metal so if you get a kill with a score streak I believe it is going to count for you to actually get that vicious metal so you getting score streaks is pretty much giving you that chance to get closer and closer to that vicious metal especially if you're a guy like me like I said guys and you're dying on those 17 and 18 kill streaks and you can just sit in one position and get kills from that position with your score streak so that's a pretty good tip as well another thing I would actually suggest you guys not to do is don't contest gunfights with multiple enemies you know if there's one enemy like this game is highly impossible to kill two enemies at a time like that is something that I found that I found impossible in the World War II beta the only thing I would suggest you guys to do is is Choose your gunfights wisely, you know. You got to be prepared to actually choose your gunfights. Also, another thing you guys can do to get this vicious metal is actually turn off vibration and make sure you change your controls to where your R3 button is able to drop shot because drop shotting and jump shotting is a huge part of the boost on the ground Call of Duties. I've seen it in um, Call of Duty Ghost, Black Ops 2, and I can go on and on. Modern Warfare 3, all of that good stuff, guys. So these tips right here like will help you guys get that vicious metal like the vicious metal is only a 30 kill streak well only is not the right definition for it but it is a 30 kill streak well 30 yeah it is a 30 kill streak and it's a nice little metal that pops up on the screen as you guys can see in the gameplay um by my boy jeep it is a nice little metal that pops up on the screen and it pretty much tells you that you've gotten this metal completed and all that good stuff so Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Today's video wasn't that long, mainly because um, the gameplay isn't that long, but I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did stay until the very end, be sure to click that thumbs up button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. YouTube have been, you know, broke recently with sending out videos to sub boxes and all that good stuff. So if you guys would like to see every Vote Clan video, all you guys gotta do is click that little bell icon and also that subscribe button and you guys will be able to come and check out every Vote clan video we're about to be pumping out daily streams uploads everything you guys can possibly think of over here on the channel so hopefully you guys are excited i'm very excited it's been mango i'll get you guys in the next video of course peace out